Hi there, and welcome to Choices for Women. My name is Nancy Muller of Mastering Your Beliefs, and with me today is Ildiko Skur. Ildiko, please share with us who you are, what you do, and why you're so fabulous. <laughs> hi, Nancy, and hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Ildiko Skur, and I'm the founder of Life Retuning, which is a fast-track personal empowerment system which sidesteps the mind and uses the human energy field instead to get great results. So I'm delighted to be here today. And Ildiko, I am so excited of the program that you and I created, Awakening Your Personal Best. It's the accelerated yeah. path for smart, accomplished, influential women to attract as much success in their personal life as they have in their business life. And boy, have we been like just so swamped with women working with us and excited to really experience our, our what we've created together. Absolutely, Nancy. It's, it's fantastic. Um, and I am so excited to be sharing the, uh, the hope and, um, you know, the, the tools uh, that uh, can get our women out of any stuck places. And it's just such a tremendous thing to be doing to working with working to be working with ladies in this way and speaking of stuck places today's topic is beyond me too so you know there's a lot of talk in the industry um you know in the news today and social media about me too experiences and you know i know that my own yeah. work comes from um several me too experiences and the thing that uh you and i really want to talk to women about is beyond me too meaning that Definitely. once you have decided that you want to share your story your experience what happened where where do you want to go from there because mm -hmm. if you want to keep you know talking about it and and allowing it to wash over you and allowing it to just really disempower you that pretty much keeps you in victim and vengeance mode victim mode mode yeah. meaning that you feel that you are have been put upon and yes even though the experience was traumatic or um life altering you know we can move beyond these experiences as absolutely. i am proof and you are proof absolutely nancy and um the thing is that it's very important to honor what happens to us mm -hmm. very important to allow ourselves to experience the emotions about what have happened to us because we are human beings. And if those emotions were not part of the human experience, we wouldn't be having them. So first of all, it's very important to actually acknowledge what has happened to us. Mm -hmm. Secondly, um, it's really important to move beyond the story that we have created about our limitations what we think about ourselves, about other people, about the world. Because only then can we completely free ourselves up to do what we really want to do in this lifetime. Absolutely. And one of the things that I really appreciate about us uh, working together and creating this program together is that, um, you know, when you've had an experience that's traumatic, life altering, something that just really brings you down, you know, it can create beliefs about your self-worth, your, your value, who you are, your self-image, your self-confidence. And that's where mastering your beliefs comes in, that we talk about these beliefs. And then you take it to the next level and you help them release that energy. Can you share a little bit yeah. about that? Yeah, sure. So this is the life retuning um, power uh, using the human energy field, which uh, you may know as the aura. Um, I talk about the personal energy field because it's much more the scientific thing than um, just um, uh, looking at healing. I, I, because I don't do healing, I do facilitation of transformation. Um, so this is using a personal energy which we are all made up of. Uh, Albert Einstein said that um, there is no matter, everything is energy. And it's quite correct. Uh, science is proving more and more that this is the way that the world operates, that uh, everything runs on pathways of energy. And the same can be said for uh, us as human beings. And thoughts, emotions um, are all about energy. So 
we are when we're caught in a web of our own personal um, negative or destructive beliefs then we create the results that resonate and amplify through into our uh, physical reality state the third dimensional state so uh, what I do is I have a system of sidestepping the mind and the usual blocks that the, the mind tends to put up with change because change is very difficult it's very tough to actually really change things in our lives without putting a huge amount of effort in and even then it doesn't necessarily get us the results that we really want whereas if you sidestep the mind and you go through the pathways of energy that's an easy journey it's not only easy but it's fast and it means that you can get huge transformations with um, the issues that uh, you feel stuck within. So I do the energy work, whereas Nancy does the, um, the mastering uh, your beliefs. I take that to the um, next level, which is actually getting rid of those negative beliefs and um, negative emotional states. And Ildiko, one of the things that I appreciate so much about the work that I do is, you know, it took me over 40 years to be able to, you know, talk about my experience and, um, you know, write books about the experience and move past the experience. And yeah. so when I have something going on in my life, I always refer back to the art of mastering your beliefs. And when you and I met and we started talking about, um, you know, how we could create something together putting our, our work together um it, it it became very very powerful and we've been we've been empowering women left and right about this and yeah. i'm really excited about it but let's get back to a little bit about beyond me too so when someone has a me too experience and yeah. they're in what i call victim and vengeance mode victim yes. mode meaning you know that that you feel like a victim that you feel victimized that you th these are feelings it's so important to get in touch with the feelings Absolutely. and then vengeance mode you know you you want vengeance you want retribution you want yeah. someone to hurt as much as you do but yeah. all of that is creating this negative energy inside the body and that's got to go someplace absolutely and, yeah and, and that's really what i'm saying is that uh, whatever we're creating energetically is what we're going to see showing up in our lives and more of it uh, than we could ever imagine because it's all about the pathways, the vibrations of energy. If you are, um, you know, plucking a guitar string, uh, that vibration goes out and people hear that sound. So you're creating something physically by actually plucking the string. People are picking up the sound by hearing it. So it's transformed already within a short space of time. So imagine what a negative thought or a feeling can do if you feel that you are a victim firstly you are disempowering yourself of the mode and the means of getting out of that it is only the moment that you decide to give up the victim stance that you can empower yourself to change the situation for yourselves so yes absolutely i talk about slave mode as well because there's victim and there's slavery as well to be enslaved again is a completely disempowered state oh i can't do anything because i'm a slave of this situation mm -hmm. um as you say vengeance however is um it's i i i would see it as a um, a moment in time of a process of healing the vengeance is a moment in time and so it should be um but we definitely need to move past that because again it just catches us and binds us up in um, a, a life that is not expressing itself to the highest level or degree because we're focusing on the negative. So you're absolutely right, Nancy. Yes, absolutely. powerful stuff. Yeah. So if you're a woman who has experienced a Me Too experience, um, something that you've really resonated with the beyond me too or the me too hashtag and you whether you're ready to share your story with another person or not if, if there's something in you that you just say you know what i would like to be free of this check us out there are links at the bottom of this video you can go to masteringyourbeliefs.com or liferetuning.com both ildico and i have this information on our websites talk yeah. with us we have an application if you'd like to talk with us and 
just have a chat with us and, and see how awakening your personal best can help you move beyond your Me Too moment. In the meantime, this is Nancy Muller. Adam Dakoska. Saying ciao for now.